Right guys, hi. Um, today we're filming a video for you because we haven't done one in a very long time. I fly out back to Spain tomorrow, so I wanted something to post whilst I'm away. And today I have bought a Bugatti Veyron. Now don't get it confused. I know my Pagani's for sale and people are gonna think, oh, you're replacing the Pagani with the Bugatti again. No is the answer to that question. This is purely a car that I bought for stock, but I wanna take you through the journey of me and my team going to get the car, buying the car, and then afterwards we're gonna do a photo shoot with the car where Ben, our wonderful photographer, videographer that's filming this, is gonna hang out the back of this BMW estate, um, which is completely health and safety complied, um, to take some rolling shots. So, let's go. And we're the three best friends that <laughs> anyone could have. Right, road trip boys. Road trip. We're going very one days. What a day. What a day. What a day. So we're going to uh, the Bugatti Service Centre in Knutsford, Manchester. Okay. Nice. Before, I bought this car like a couple of weeks ago, but before the deal is concluded, it was subject to Bugatti doing a, like a vehicle health inspection. Because you know what these cars are like. Yeah. They're like, oh, you know, you need to replace a dust cap that's 75 grand, please. <laughs> so I bet that was cheap. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they charged me £2,400 to inspect the car. Oh, a bargain. Yeah. Absolute bargain. Can we have just taken and then, it to... And then, right, so the car's booked in for a service on the 29th of August. Which today is what, the 23rd? 3rd, yeah. Yeah, so I thought, well, we'll go and get it. Get it back to the show, get it cleaned. You can do some cool reels and stuff with it. Yeah. Um, get it on the website, because when it's for, gone for service, it'll be gone for a week or ten days. Yeah. So I said, well, now I've paid you two and a half grand to have the vehicle health inspection done. Surely that has got to be deducted off of the price of the service because you need to do a health check before you service the car. And they was like, no, I don't work like that. <laughs> of course it doesn't. I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can't take I've, it to... I've missed you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we can't take it to Top Gear down the road? No. no. Would they be able to do a quick oil change? Uh, no. There was a sign there that said a service from seventy pounds. Well, they that seems all right. Just take it back. Seems all right. Do what you mean. <laughs> I had to have my heated seat on in the rolls. You got the roof down. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the most like privileged <laughs> first world. <Yeah. laughs> oh, what a what a prick. Uh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was a bit oh, cold God. in that Rolls. I had to put my heat and seat on in that Rolls. Yeah, but you had the roof down. Sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. oh, for God's sake. Oh, oh, oh. What a day. That was funny. <laughs> okay, guys, we've just turned up at the customer service center for Bugatti, McLaren and Rolls-Royce. We're going to see a lady called Saika who is head of Bugatti and Pagani. They, know, they now have the Pagani service center here. Did you know that? Could have bought your car. It need, needs a service, but we haven't got the right tool in yet, apparently. Oh. Which is a problem. That is a problem. Um, so I'm gonna go into Saika. I'm going to get them to pull the Bugatti out and you can show our subscribers how nice this car is. Right, wish me luck. Quick one, is the tool not in the car? What tool? Where are you going Right guys, this, this is it. Let me give you a quick walk around of the details of this car. Now I've tried to buy this car for a while. I've known the last two previous owners. Um, the first owner upgraded the wheels in 2013 to the Grand Sport alloys. And I remember he paid 63 or 65,000 euros for these wheels. There's also been a sports exhaust put on the car, so it sounds a bit more grunty, which is, which is cool. Right, so the car is a 2006 
um, UK supplied Veyron. Always been in the UK, always been UK registered. It's got incredible service history and the car has just been serviced here at the, um, the Bugatti Service Centre in Knutsford, Manchester. Um, black with black, sports seats, sports exhaust, I'm going to relight an old fire now. Let's go. What I did find in the car, which was quite strange, is a, uh, in, in here, Anyway, there's a Boyce to Men CD in there, which is uh, a blast from the past. It's probably been in there since the car was new. Oh, I do like a Veyron, you know. I do like a Veyron. I mean, it's a Bentley. It's just a big, touring, comfortable Bentley. That does 248 miles an hour. Sorry, quick detour. Um, I need to buy my little girl a new set of earphones and where else better than Smith's? Monster High. Okay guys, so um, just got back to headquarters, um, had two hours or so, having a bit of fun in the Veyron and it just, it brought back memories of when I had my car and how much I loved it and how well they drive and how incredible they are as a car and you know what, I think they're, they're so, so undervalued still, can't believe the price of these cars compared to everything else, they're just absolutely incredible. Anyway, like anything, this car is for sale and it is on sale now. You can see more details on our website, which is www.tomhartley.com. Um, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do. The button's down there somewhere. And you can follow us on social media. We're on all platforms. Uh, my personal social media is Carl Hartley one The business is Tom Hartley Cars. So I hoped you enjoyed the video. And um, stay tuned for more that's coming soon.